Hey you guys and a happy Halloween. This is a long play of sorts and review for Chiller on the uh, Amstrad CPC. And I say a long play of sorts because, well, a long play is playing the game through to completion and that is not the case here. Um, I've got up to as far as possible in the game because unfortunately there appears to be a crushing bug on level 5 which doesn't allow you to progress any further. But more on, on that later in the game. As you can see on the title screen here, um, welcome to Chillet by R&D Darling. This is actually Richard and David Darling who went on to form Codemasters. Although this conversion was done by a different programmer, uh, Ed Hickman. And you can try your boy there. And he, he has to basically uh, go around very single screen levels and collect all the uh, flashing crosses. Watch out for the blue mushrooms, they'll uh, zap you a load of energy, like so. Sometimes they're unavoidable. Uh, there's gold coins to collect, which are those sort of white circles with a orange thing underneath it. And the uh, pinky purpley mushrooms will restore your energy. But be warned, don't eat too many of them, because you have to go back through all the levels on the way back, and anything you've taken will be missing on the way back as well so you might want to conserve them and that's the first level done there and we move on to the cinema that level's pretty tricky actually this level not so much just take your time same with the next level actually first level's one of the hardest and this is a very very tough game indeed energy gets sapped very very quickly and the main problem is it's tough to know where you can jump and where you can't And there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a perspective problem here as well, which you will see on uh, level 4. I mean, uh, can't you just walk up the screen, walk up through the cinema? No, you have to keep jumping up on the seats. It doesn't really make sense, really. And that becomes much more evident in the uh, graveyard level, which we'll come on to in a couple levels time. Um, but this was a big seller for Massatronic um, software, released in 1985, originally for the Commodore 64, which the, uh, the Darling Brothers did actually code themselves. They did quite a few little games for Massatronic. Oh yeah, once your energy gets really low there, you also start moving at a very slow pace, so you need to get energy very quickly. And of course this was then later converted to the Spectrum uh, Amstrad, and I think even the MSX got a version as well. And it was a big seller. Um, I think it sold at, um, at one point, just purely for the Commodore 64, about 30,000 copies, which is pretty good. Um, but it's one ninety nine budget game. You can't complain too much for its crapness. But it is fairly crap, but um, it's, like, it's still fairly enjoyable and, and, and intriguing, given it's sort of a, uh, I don't know, horror movie base, um, which makes it sort of the perfect game to look at for Halloween. Yeah, you can't seem to die if you, if you fall down too far. There you go. Um, uh, this game actually caught some controversy at the time. Um, the original Commodore 64 release um, actually sort of had a rip-off of uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller music, which sounded very, very similar. And uh, Mastertronic got sued. I think they uh, settled out of court by paying some royalties and then uh, changing the music in the game. So there may be some Commodore 64 versions out there that actually have the original sort of thriller, Michael Jackson's thriller music ripoff. Um, and of course, if you saw the um, box art there at the start of the video, it looks suspiciously a little bit like Michael Jackson from the thriller video, at least. There you go. That's the last cross on that level. And uh, yeah, the graveyard, second to last level. Now there's a real perspective problem here, as I said. There's like a path that winds up to the what I think is a church there. And um, surely you just should be able to like just walk up there. Where 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 can you actually jump on this level as well? Um, sometimes difficult to tell. And apparently we can jump up this path there, but we can't walk up it. 
and there's parts of trees you can jump on or into and other, other parts of the tree you can't and uh, that blue thing slivering across there doesn't seem to zap any energy if we're that low but it will if we're very very slightly higher up so that's very strange it's a very very inconsistent game and uh, probably full of quite a few of bugs and things like that maybe which we'll come on to in the next level sadly so yeah it's pretty confusing and not very well planned out but it is a budget game you would have paid $1.99 for this so what, what do you expect but the music gets very very irritating just repeating around and around all the time so, and that jump noise gets really annoying as well it's a very very tough game uh, and once you rescue your girlfriend in the house on the next level you then have to go back through the entire game in reverse order collecting blue crosses but also controlling your girlfriend who has to uh, collect the red crosses and you can't. Uh, you have to be very careful where you leave your character or they will get stuck or get dra their, their energy drained. Now here's the problem you're supposed to get this ladder to the right and jump up on the uh, branch or the roof of the garage there but every time you keep falling through now I've tried this over and over and over again and I've not been able to do it. Uh, I've asked for help on the CPC wiki forums, no one seems to know so far. And there's another video by a uh, good YouTuber, YouTuber and friend of mine, Cholo. Uh, he attempted to long play this and he, he also got stuck on the same bit. There we go, game over basically. Once your energy's gone, it's game over. No lives, no continues, back to the start again. So a pretty frustrating game, if a bit short anyway. Um, so there end of my long play. And I can't get any further guys, sorry. <laughs> if anyone knows what you need to do, let me know. I thought you might be able to climb that tree to the left there, but you can't. So here's my attempts, I found a cheat to put in, uh, in infinite energy. And uh, we're just going to uh, have a few more goes, it's just to illustrate the problem. But nice and high there, but no, refuses to land there. I mentioned Cholo. He he did he did message me back and seemed to suggest that he once many many years ago managed to find a uh, a, bump, a bug, uh, like a jump bug in like one of the trees. He jumped into the tree um, and then jump out of it, and suddenly he managed to find himself getting high in the game. But he can't remember. I have tried doing this for hours and hours and hours and guys I can't, I can't be bothered anymore. If anyone's got any suggestions let me know. You can't climb up this tree to the left there, you can't climb up the wall. We try, we try jumping into the tree at different heights. See if we can force some kind of bug. So no, we can't get up the wall there. And we can utch along pixel by pixel along the house. There's nothing on the house you can jump up on. I've tried. I've gone along pixel by pixel chest, uh, testing and checking. Here's just another quick uh, check to show you guys. The only other thing I thought is that when you start this level, you're on the grass a little bit lower down. You might be able to sort of jump into the far left tree at a certain point, maybe. But yeah, no joy. So there we go. If anyone knows how to do it, let me know. Otherwise, very, very poor game, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we'll just have uh, a few more attempts, speed it up. Just to show you. Yeah, very poor, so I'm going to have to give this a low score. Um, 4 out of 10, I think. It's kind of fondly remembered by a lot of people. A lot of people bought this at the time. I didn't. I only come into this game later, but people have a lot of fond memories. It's for a couple of quid, and the box art was enticing, and all the horror design as well it was appealing to kids at you know at a certain age. Yeah, there we go. Oh well. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope someone can find a solution for this. Maybe one day. No, there you go, you can sort of jump into the tree there on the left and get stuck, but, but can't do anything else really. There we go, 4 out of 10, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you have a good Halloween. Alright, cheers, bye.